According to Dr. Annette Namvubia, the lead investigator on the study, participants will be drawn from members of the population that are more vulnerable to COVID-19, including HIV patients, pregnant women, and people with diabetes, among others. She says the study starts soon or early next year and that findings will be vital in the fight against COVID-19. We want to test to see whether the Moderna vaccine is safe in the Ugandan population. We also want to know whether it prevents the Ugandan population from acquiring uh, the various variants of COVID-19. Um, we are going to be testing this uh, Moderna vaccine in uh, populations that are at increased risk for acquiring uh, COVID, and these include those that are infected with HIV. The study on the Moderna vaccine comes at a time when a number of countries have witnessed a new COVID-19 variant, Omricon, which was first identified in South Africa. It's against this background that scientists are carrying out study to see how the available vaccines may respond to this new variant, starting with Moderna. Also studies on another vaccine known as VAT0008 that is manufactured by Sinofi are yet to be finalized. The vaccine is already being used in some of African countries. We have received all the IRB approvals, Uganda National Council, the National Drug Authority have approved this product for testing. So we are expecting the product to arrive in Uganda anytime. When the product comes, we are 10 sites in Uganda that are going to test this product in Ugandans. Away from COVID, researchers at Uganda Virus Research Institute, IAVI, are conducting clinical trials on different neutralizing antibodies for HIV to see whether they can prevent one from acquiring HIV. We also want to know whether um, the people who are vaccinated using these uh, antibodies we will actually um, develop an immune response that will later be tested to see if it can prevent one from acquiring HIV. The Moderna COVID-19 vaccine is an mRNA vaccine that requires two shots 20 days apart. Shamim Natewa, CTV, PM Edition.